Hey, it's Mike Rudner here from New Relic, and I'm going to show you how to get JMX metrics from your application server into New Relic. Now, in order to do that, first thing we need to do is understand what JMX metrics we want to pull, and then we're going to add those metrics we want to pull into a configuration file that will be used to tell the agent uh, what metrics to grab, and then finally we'll build a custom dashboard that you can go to to view your JMX metrics. Now I'm going to use a couple of tools to do this. I'm going to use JConsole uh, and NetBeans in order to look at my JMX data. So the first thing we'll do, let's go ahead and open up, uh, let's start our application server using NetBeans. So I'm going to go ahead, um, run, I'm going to restart my Glassfish server here. And then I'm going to go ahead and launch one of my applications here, simple servlet. Okay, great. And we can see that this is a JSP page. Now let's hit the servlet behind this. And this servlet does a little bit of magic just to slow it down so we can generate some slow traces inside of New Relic. Now let's go to J Console and see what metrics are available to us. I'm going to go ahead and connect over to my Glassfish instance. All right, let's take a look at our M beans. In this case, I want to get information about the number of open file descriptors. And I'll look at my operating system attributes. Okay, great. And we can see that we have our open file descriptor count and we have the max file descriptor count. So we're going to take both of those and add those into our JMX data gathering. And I'm lazy, so I like to copy and paste this. And what I'll do is Inside of the directory where you installed New Relic, you'll need to create an extensions directory. So you can see the path here in my NetBeans, Glassfish, New Relic, and extensions. And in this directory, I have listed out uh, what files are there, and I have a jmx.yaml file. Now what we're going to need to do is edit that file. And you can see kind of the structure of the file here. Uh, one thing that's important to note, the YAML files are uh, sensitive to the amount of spaces uh, so please make sure that when putting spaces in they you have the appropriate amount of spaces and I'm going to go ahead and go to the end of this and I'm going to insert here my open file descriptor count and we also want to get the max file descriptor so I can go back to J console and grab that value right here and again place it into my YAML file okay great now we have added those two uh, operating system attributes to our JMX file. So let's go ahead and save that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to restart my Glassfish server one more time. I'm going to simply go to Glassfish. We'll restart. Now another thing we can do, uh, it's not necessary, but we can add a little bit of load using uh, Apache benchmark. Let me see if I have it here. Great. So we can hit that servlet that we had. And we'll do something simple like maybe do five. We'll do one request and we'll do 500 of those. Okay, so we're running our benchmark. Now let's go over to New Relic and take a look at our data. Okay, great. Looks like we have a little bit of data that's being reported back in. What we need to do now is build a custom dashboard. Pretty straightforward to do that. We'll go ahead and go to custom dashboards. We will create a custom dashboard. And we'll create a grid view. And I will call this JMX example. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and add a chart or table. In this case for JMX, I like to look at it with a table format, so let's go ahead and grab the table. And we can call this okay, open file descriptors. And we'll find our metrics, which should be listed under JMX, under language, under operating system. And now we can see we have our max file descriptor and our open file descriptor. So we can go ahead and do something like that. We have two matches available to us. And 
let's go ahead and select the current application. So we always want it to show up for a GlassFest application. This is something to keep the data in context with the dashboard. And let's save and finish. And it'll just take a few minutes here probably to get some of that data over. Let's just make sure we have data reporting in. I'm going to hit the servlet here a couple times as well just to make sure we have something coming over. Okay, you can see we're waiting for our local host in the bottom there. Okay, great. And I believe that page is rendered. I'll hit it one more time just for fun. We'll go back to our new Relic UI. And let's see if we have any data in our Well, let's just look at all of our JMX data. And we'll do limit that to our top 10. Okay, great. Now we have some of our data coming over. You can see. Uh, not sure why that is, but I think you get the point here of being able to take information right from the JMX console and have that displayed inside of your new Relic dashboard. And that's the process of adding data from your JMX metrics.